doing surveillance video or getting the yeah. statements, and they're like, oh, whoa, that's not so helpful. Or yeah. I, I just hate, you know, I guess it's from yeah. a legal perspective. Yeah, yeah. People making this whole witnesses Absolutely. that may or may not help you. How do you yeah. deal with that, or, or is there, you just kind of deal with it? As yeah. Stuff? So th this is sort of what I mean by, like, um, the instincts end up being counterintuitive to the court system. So people are like, I know he didn't do it. I know I know his cousin. I'll just go over to his cousin's house and talk to him and tell him, why don't, don't, don't lie about him, right? That sort of makes sense. And, and so, but with participatory events, because all the things that we've seen and are kind of the experience of all the cases, if, if, they, if a family comes to the meeting, they're like, well, I'm just going to go down to my cousin's house. Well, that's where we're able in some ways to be able to echo what the lawyers would say because because we've right? yeah right right so so in some ways um I, the the concern of confidentiality with participatory offense I, I would say is actually um mitigated because of participatory offense because the, the things people normally would want to do if they want to do something like i'm gonna put this on facebook i'm good you know <laughs> like all those things that sort of like yeah i guess so like be because of participatory offense, you know, it's someone like Blanca saying, okay, no, we're not going to do stuff on social media, law enforcement's looking at it, or we don't want you to go to your cousin's house. If, if you think there's something there, want, let's get your cousin's information and what you think they may know to the lawyer as soon as possible so they can send an investigator out. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. All right.